<laughs> oh no. Hi. I just sat down to edit the video, and while exporting things from the SD card to the video editor, I realized it deleted my intro video. I don't know why or how, but it did. I've been having a little trouble with the SD card that I have. My intro is nowhere to be found. So here's a makeshift intro for the video. This week, I thought it would be fun to finally assemble my art wall. For the past few months, I've been accumulating pieces of art that I've either made or purchased, and I wanna use it all to decorate the wall that I always face while I'm working at my desk so that I can see all of the things that I love every day. It's already done, so I keep looking up at it. Before I started the project, I was really concerned about spacing things properly and whatever, because I don't really know what I'm doing, but I did it anyway. So let's get into it. Flashback. Okay, finally getting around to getting some work done. Before the sun sets, I need to go outside and put the tarp down and spray paint. I don't know where I put the spray paint because I got it months ago, but it's, it's around here somewhere. The prints I ordered should be in tomorrow, and I'm really excited to get those because most of them have been sitting in a file on my computer, and I've made a few more since I started planning this project, so I'm excited to add those to the collection. I actually don't know if I'm gonna have enough wall space. The art is supposed to be all over this wall, but I kind of have a lot. I'll introduce the art later. I need to spray paint these frames before the sun goes down because it's, uh, it's after four which means we have maybe a good hour of sunlight left. I meant to do it yesterday, and then I ran out of sunlight, and then I meant to do it the day before that, and I also ran out of daylight, so we're finally gonna get it done. I'm gonna change so I don't get white spray paint all over my very colorful outfit. <gasps> Although clouds would be cute on the sweater. I should add clouds. Okay, no, not now. Not what we're doing today. Focus! the frames have been opened. We'll see if I can figure something out to use all those plastic wrappers because I really don't want to throw those away because that's just a lot of plastic. I still can't find the spray paint, which is concerning. It's been in a Lowe's bag since I bought it this summer. It's been like floating from room to room somehow. Hi. Hi, my love. The next step is going to be emptying these frames of their current contents and laying them all out onto a tarp so that I can hopefully spray paint them once I find the spray paint, that is. So I'm gonna go do that. 20 minutes later. I just wasted so much time looking for the spray paint. Gigantic spiders aside, uh, the spray paint was here the whole time. So that's good. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ew, 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 ew. Mission accomplished. I'm just gonna close the door and go away. If we don't see them, they're not there. Uh, that took a lot longer than I thought it would, mainly because I ran out of daylight. I kept spray painting in places that I didn't realize were the shadow from my tripod. So I kept painting in the same place thinking that it was still unpainted. I think I did pretty good for the most part not getting... not get... no! Oh darn. Well, looks like I'm adding clouds to the sweatshirt. It was not as cold as I thought it was going to be today, and I thought for sure that by this time when I'm spray painting that it'll be a little bit cooler, so I kept my sweatshirt on. I shouldn't have, because I am a heavy sweater, and um, I'm sweaty. I'm gonna go take a shower while these dry, and then after that I'll come in and check on them. Okay, I brought them all inside. Um, they were still just a tiny bit wet on the inside of the frames, so now they're drying inside because I was too afraid to leave them outside and have some little animal, like the bunny who is often in the backyard, getting paint on them. So I brought them in. The current delivery time of the prints that I chose to get is tomorrow, which is good because the original one was Tuesday, which is the day after I wanted to post this. So hopefully the new delivery time is the accurate delivery time because I'm really excited 
to see some of these prints in like physical, tangible form. Three days later. Okay, my prints have finally arrived. And to quote my stepdad, I knew someday my prints would come. Moving on. They're a couple days later than I thought they were going to be. So I'm going to try to speed run putting my art wall together. So I'm going to try and do this really quickly, but I also don't want it to look bad. We're just going to get into it. Okay, I have a lot more than I thought, and some of them are pretty big, so I don't know if those are going to go on this wall, but let's go through and see what we've got here. at everything, I don't know that I have enough frames. I thought I had a lot of frames, but I think I underestimated how many pieces of art I had to hang up. All the frames and all their pieces are here. I have to count how many frames I have and how many prints I have. I already know that the two large prints are 11 by 17 and I don't have a frame that big, so I'm gonna have to deal with some tape. I don't know why I have like super villain hands right now. <laughs> don't put that on the internet. I love it so much. It looks so much better than what I expected. My initial plan was to hang all of these on nails, which is why I got frames for everything. But then I didn't have enough frames for some of the print sizes that I had because I ended up having more prints than I thought stowed away in the box. So when I ran out of frames, I decided to mix, what is this? Mix frameless images in with the framed images and hang them all the same way. This also cuts down on the amount of tiny little holes that I would leave in the wall if I have to move them around. Although the sticky things might pull up the paint. Eh, that's a problem for future me. But yeah, it's all done. I've been meaning to do this for months and now I finally did it. For some reason, doing it for a video holds me strangely accountable. So hopefully that's a pattern that I will repeat as this goes on, that if I do it for a video, I'll actually do it. I'll actually work through my project list and share that journey with you, whoever's watching. You, right there. You held me accountable. You helped me accomplish this. Thank you. Thank you for watching. As for next week, I'm so excited for what I have shared. I've shared? I haven't shared it yet. I haven't even made it yet. The project I have going for next week, I'm 
It's something I've been wanting to make for a really long time, and now I have a really good reason to do it. It's coming together so well already. I can't wait to share it. My outfit may or may not be indicative of the theme. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to share it. I'm really excited to make it. So hopefully I'll see you here next week. If you liked the video, you can let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to stick around to watch future projects, hit the subscribe button. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!